Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so you can look through the playlist and pick and choose which ones interest you the most. Or you could start at one and just go through 25. They're all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should do the trick. Note that if you're a longtime user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find these very interesting. I'm aiming my tips at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. So today our tip is going to be on masking your maps. Now I have a map here. I have a grid on this map and I am going to show you how to add a mask to it so that your players will not be able to see what's on the map. So I right click, I choose layers, and then I'm going to choose the little mask over here and it puts a mask on this, on this map. And now I can kind of see through it, but the players will see a solid gray block. They will not be able to see anything at all. Now to make this uh, viewable so that they can see something, there are two ways to do it. The first way is just to draw a square on the map. Now that reveals the entrance here. But if you want it to be a little more detailed, you could hold the shift down while you draw and start drawing up the edge of the rocks here, maybe up to this rock and over and maybe down around these rocks and up and over and down and then I connect it up and then it shows the players they will just see this part of the map they'll not still not see anything up here so that is the two different ways that you can mask or unmask a map I hope that you found this tip interesting and I hope that you will continue to watch the rest of the videos in my series thank you for watching bye bye